just incredible! Repent of your carbon sins! I urge you, five dollars! Repent of the Church of Global Warming! The Church of Global Warming. That is hilarious. Try to be creative. <laughs> Being a damn myself to appreciate it. <laughs> Away to the next hybrid car. Al Gore has my global warming is a lie. Al Gore has my global warming is a lie. Al Gore has my global warming is a lie. Al Gore has my global warming is a lie. You hear the opposing side of global warming? I know the truth. The other, but what about what about the one-sided, misleading comments that Al Gore says in his movie? He doesn't say anything misleading. Al Gore says global warming is caused by SUVs. How life is changed! you're killing polar bears. Repent of your carbon sins! Don't He's contributing an idea that's going to lead to higher taxes on the American people. What's the, what's the difference if he's... Anyone in the political realm influences the conversation. Human cost of global warming hysteria. How is, you know, this global warming legislation going to affect working families? And I suppose that's what this whole protest is about, is the human cost of of people protesting about I suppose something they don't really understand or maybe they don't care about. I, I hope they do care about it. How working Americans and, and pensioners and elderly people are gonna manage when we put uh, energy prices up to an intolerable level. And it's extraordinary we're here today, you know, it is really freezing. We have an unbelievable wind chill factor and there's about a foot of snow all over Washington DC and they're having a global warming protest. I mean it's, it's hilarious and this seems to happen all the time. Every time Al Gore comes out to tell us about global warming, to warn us about global warming, it just seems to be a blizzard. But no one seems to see the irony in that, it'd be bizarre. But, um, I mean they keep, they off, uh, yeah well, yeah, <laughs> irony. Yeah. But, um, but uh, yeah, we've made this film, we, looked at, we also look at the history of the environmental movement. The last time the environmental movement were as successful as there being about CO2 with, was with DDT, was with the, the, the ban on DDT, which has caused the death of about 50 million children. DDT was used to prevent children getting malaria, and it was demonised and by environmental. So CO2 is the new DDT? CO2 you know? is the new DDT. And they're, trying, and to, I hope, and they're, and they're hope. trying to ban it with the same lack of scientific rigour that they banned DDT. And we just, we're, we're trying to stop it because... You know, CO2 is not poisonous, it's not pollutant, you know. You CO2 don't, is life. No, CO2 is life, it's what you push into, uh, uh, into, um, into a greenhouse to make things grow. Okay, what's your name? My name's Nathan. And you're holding nothing would be green without CO2, alright. That's right. There's, um, how many people do you think are here? I don't, I don't even know, a couple thousand? A couple thousand people. Yep, and we're, what does that sign say? Stop global warming, hold your breath. That's great. What do we want? When do we want it? Sooner the better. Sir, your thoughts on global warming? The biggest bunch of bullshit that's ever been pulled over in the world's eyes. If we had some global warming, if we had some global warming, it wouldn't be 20 below, it wouldn't be 20 below. If we had some global warming, if we had some global warming, I wouldn't be shoveling snow, I wouldn't be shoveling that blasted snow. If we had some global warming, if we Thank you, Dana. Two questions. Okay. World Net Daily reports that 30, more than 31,000 U.S. scientists, including 9,000 PhDs, have now signed a petition rejecting global warming, the assumption that human production of greenhouse gases is damaging Earth's climate. And my question, what is the White House reaction to these 31,000 U.S. scientists? I say that everyone's entitled to their opinion.
What's your next question? That's all I'm going to say. 